Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss 01 knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach. The problem is apply dynamic programming technique to the following instance of knapsack problem with the capacity m is equal to 5. So, this m represents the maximum capacity of the knapsack. So, before discussing the problem, you need to understand what is knapsack problem and what is the concept to implement knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach. So, I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So, here EM is nothing but the maximum capacity of the knapsack. So, with this, they have given the items that is represented by I. There are four items they have given. So, number of object is equal to four. And for each object, weight they have given. First object weight is 2. Second object weight is 1. Third object 3. And fourth object is 2. Okay. And profit PI they have given us. If you are selecting to place the first object into the knapsack lessons, you will earn $12. Okay. If you are selecting the second object in the sense, you will earn $10. Third object in the sense $20. Fourth object in the sense $15. So here our objective is we have to select the combination of different objects completely to place it into the knapsack such that it should not exceed the maximum capacity of the knapsack and also it should maximize the profit earned. Okay. And to implement this knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach, we need to use this recurrence relation. That is V of i comma j equal to 0 in case i and j value is 0. V of i minus 1 comma j in case if weight of the object to be added is greater than j. Maximum of V of i minus 1 comma j comma V of i minus 1 comma j minus wi plus pi. If the weight of the object to be included is less than or equal to j. So, here J is nothing but the remaining capacity of the knapsack. Okay. So, with this, we will implement the knapsack problem. So, solution step 1. So, this is the given values and the maximum capacity is 5. Number of object is 4. And for each object, they have given the corresponding weight and profit. So, first step, we need to construct the adjacency table. So, the adjacency table, if you are considering in the sense, Row wise, we have to consider the objects starting from 0 to 4. Here they have given 4 objects. We have to include 0th object also. If you are not including any object in the sense, that is 0. Okay. So, here n plus 1 rows we have to include. So, the adjacency table we have to construct with n plus 1 and m plus 1. Okay. So, n plus 1 in the sense 5 rows. And M plus 1 in the sense, 6 columns. Capacity is 5. We have to add 6 columns. So, here J is nothing but the capacity, the remaining capacity and maximum capacity is equal to 5. Okay. And 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what is the capacity they have given? Plus 1 we have to consider. Since we are adding the 0th column also. And i is nothing but the objects. And here they have given number of object is equal to 4. Here also we have to add number of object plus 1. Since we are including the 0 value also. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is nothing but the adjacency table. This is the initial adjacency table. Next, step 2. Start from the initial solution. So, this is the initial adjacency table. And with this initial adjacency table, first we have to consider the initial solution. So, initial solution in the sense i value is 0 and j value is 0. Okay. So, we know the recurrence relation. When i value is 0 and j value is 0 in the sense v of i comma j, that is v of i comma j, the value is 0. So, in row wise and column wise, if you are considering the 0th position. So, when i value is 0 or j value is 0 in the sense, we have to include the value v of i comma j. That is the profit. The value is 0. Okay. So, first row and first column, since i value is 0 and j value is 0, we have included 0 here. 
and this is the profit table in step 2. Next, step 3. This is the profit table we have constructed in step 2. Okay. So, with this profit table in step 3, we will consider the first object. So, if you are considering the first object with weight 2 and profit 12 in the sense, what is the profit earned that we have to calculate and fill it here? This is the recurrence relation for all the three cases. Okay. So, now if I am considering the first object with weight 2 and profit 12 in the sense, consider weight wi and j. So, weight of the first object is nothing but 2. Okay. So, here I need to consider when the remaining capacity, when the capacity is 1 in the sense, if I am adding this weight, what is the profit we have to calculate? Similarly, Weight is 2 if I am considering the second capacity. M is equal to 2 in the sense. Okay. The, for the same weight, M is equal to 3 in the sense. M is equal to 4 and M is equal to 5. When I am considering the first object with weight 2 with different capacities. Capacity is 1, capacity is 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have to implement this recurrence relation according to the case. So, first recurrence relation, that is J value is 1. The remaining capacity is 1. But our weight is 2. If you are adding this weight, it will exceed the maximum capacity. So, what is the formula? That is V of I minus 1 comma J we have to implement. Okay. So, V of I comma J. I value is first object. That is I is 1. And J value is also 1. So, V of 1 comma 1 is equal to V of I minus 1 comma J. Okay. So, I minus 1 comma J. This is the formula. So, V of I minus 1. I value is 1. So, 1 minus 1, the value is 0. Comma J is value is 1. So, V of 0 comma 1. In V of 0, 1, what is the value? Value is 0. Okay. So, V of 1, 1 position value is 0. We have to include here. Okay. Next, similarly, when weight is 2 and the remaining capacity is 2. Okay. So, that is V of I value is 1, J value is 2 now. Here, if you are considering the remaining capacity, our weight, our considering weight is equal to the remaining capacity. So, it is possible to add it into the knapsack. Okay. So, when the weight is less than or equal to J in the sense, this is the formula. So, that is maximum of V of I minus 1. I value is 1. 1 minus 1, we will get it as 0, comma. J. J is nothing but 2. Maximum of V of I minus 1 comma J comma V of I minus 1. I value is 1. So, 1 minus 1 value is 0 comma J minus WI. What is J minus WI? J is 2. WI is also 2. J minus WI in the sense V of 0 comma 0 we will get it. Plus PI. So, what is the profit of the first object? It is 12. So, which one is maximum? V of 0, 2 value is 0. Okay. And V of 0, 0. The value is 0. Plus 12. We will get it as 12. Which one is maximum? We will get 12. So, V of 1, 2. The value is 12. Okay. Similarly. Weight is 2 and the remaining capacity is 3. So, V of I, J. I is 1. J is 3. Equal to maximum of V of I minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. I minus 1, comma J is 3. Comma V of I minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. J minus W I. 3 minus 2. 1. Plus, what is the profit on 12? Okay. So, we will get it. V of 0, 3. The value is 0. 
and v of 0 comma 1 is also 0 plus 12 okay so here we will get 0 and here we will get 12 so the maximum value is 12 next consider the remaining capacity 4 with weight 2 so v of i comma j j value is 4 now so formula is the same only that is the maximum of v of i minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 comma j is 4 comma v of i minus 1 is 0 comma j minus w i is 2 plus profit on this 12. So v of 0 comma 4 if you are considering value is 0 and v of 0 comma 2 if you are considering in the sense value is 0 only 0 plus 12 that is 12. So 0 or 12 in the sense maximum is 12. Okay so here also we will get 12. Next up with y 2 and j value is 5. So, V of I comma G. So, I value is 1 only. J value is 5. Okay. So, maximum of V of I minus 1, 1 minus 1, 0. And J value is 5 comma V of I minus 1 is 0. J minus W I. 3 we will get it. 0 comma 3 plus 12. So, here if you are considering V of 0, 5, value is 0, comma, V of 0, 3, value is 0 plus 12. Which one is maximum? 12. So, we will get it as 12. Okay. So, here also we will get 12. So, now the third step is over. Okay. We have considered the first object and we have considered the remaining capacities. When the remaining capacity is 1, what is the profit? When the remaining capacity is 2, what is the profit? When the remaining capacity is 3, what is the profit? When the remaining capacity is 4, what is the profit? When the remaining capacity is 5, what is the profit? We have filled the table by considering the first two objects. Now, this is the profit table after step 3. Next, we have to consider step 4. In step 4, we are going to consider the second object with weight 1 and profit 10. And this is the recurrence relation we need to consider. So, now in step 4, W, I and J. Okay. So, what is the weight of the second object? Completely 1. And the remaining capacity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to consider. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, each case we have to consider and we have to compute the profit. The remaining capacity of knapsack is 1 and its weight is also 1. So, this is the case weight is equal to J. So, we have to implement this formula. Okay. So, that is V of second of I value is 2. Since we are considering the second object in all these cases, I value is 2. V of I comma J is 1 equal to maximum of V of I minus 1. I value is 2, 2 minus 1 in the sense 1, comma j value is 1. V of i minus 1, comma j, comma v of i minus 1, i minus 1, 2 minus 1 in the sense 1, comma j minus w i. J value is 1 minus w i in the sense we will get it as 0. Plus, proper turned here is 10. Okay. So, we will get maximum of V of 1 comma 1. What is the value? 1 comma 1 value is 0 comma. V of 1 comma 0. The value is 0. 0 plus 10. So, we will get it as 10. So, here we have to fill 10. Okay. Next up. V of i comma j. i is 2. j is also 2. Equal to maximum of V of i minus 1 comma j. 2 minus 1 is 1, comma j value is 2 here, comma v of i minus 1. i value is 2, 2 minus 1 in the sense 1, comma j minus wi. So j is 2, wi is 1. 2 minus 1, 1 we will get it. And profit earned here is 10. So maximum of 1, comma 2 value is 12, comma 1, comma 1. The value is 0. 0 plus this profit is 10. So, which one is maximum? 12 or 10? 12 is maximum. So, the value is 12. Next up. 
V of I, G, I is 2, J is 3 now. Equal to maximum of V of I minus 1, G. 2 minus 1 is 1, J is 3 now. V of 1, 3, V of I minus 1 is 1, J minus W, I is 3 minus 1, 2. Plus profit turned here is 10. Okay. So, we will get maximum of 1, 3 value is 12 comma 1 v of 1 comma 2 the value is 12 so 12 plus this profit value is 10 so we will get at 12 or 22 22 is maximum so here we will get 22 next step v of i comma g i is to j is 4 now equal to maximum of V of I minus 1 is 1, J is 4, comma, V of I minus 1 is 1, comma, J minus W I, 4 minus 1 is 3, plus profit earned here is 10, okay. So, we will get maximum of V of 1, comma, 4 is, value is 12, comma, 1, comma, 3 is also 12. So, 12 plus 10, we will get it as 22. Okay, so here we will get value 22. Next, V of I, G, I is 2, J is 5 now. Equal to maximum of V of I minus 1 is 1, comma J is 5, comma V of I minus 1 is 1, J minus W I is 5 minus 1 is 4, plus profit turned here is 10. So we will get maximum of V of 1 comma 5 is value is 12 plus 1 comma 4 is also 12. So, 12 plus 10 which one is maximum 12 or 22 in this. So, here also we will get 22. This is the profit table at the end of step 4 by considering the second object with weight 1 and profit 10. Now, we have completed up to step 4. Step 5 and step 6 we will discuss in the next part. Thank you for watching this video.